Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein, and this is just some initial thoughts on the solo mode of the Shayola Great Houses expansion, which is the Kickstarter expansion for the great game Shayola, which I was able to purchase at the uh, seller's market at the Silver Key Lounge a few months back here in the Phoenix area. Great way to buy games is at the seller's market, and Shayola is a game that uh, is best, in my opinion, 1v1. It's a fantastic game. I love the base game. And as I've mentioned in a few other videos, there's so much content in the base game that uh, you don't necessarily, in my opinion, need the expansion. And there is an expansion. I haven't played the expansion component for the uh, main game and the you know 1v1 or cooperative mode. But what I did do was set up the solo mode and I've been fooling around and playing the solo mode which is the reason that I purchased the uh, expansion off the uh, uh, Kickstarter as a, as a late backer. I'm not usually a big fan of Kickstarter but I really did love Shayola and I was really interested in the solo mode. So this is a some initial thoughts on the solo mode not on the entire expansion. And I just want to say this, what I felt about the solo mode in playing it and, uh, you know, messing around with it is what I really like about it is it feels like I'm playing the 1v1 game. I think it does a good job of replicating that experience as best you can playing solo versus actually playing with someone. So sometimes, you know, games add a solo mode as sort of like a Kickstarter, you know, add on. And sometimes you can tell that they just kind of added on the, the solo mode. But this one, you know, feels like it was really worked out in my initial uh, plays of it. And I feel that, it, again, what I, I, I like it a lot because it feels like I'm playing the game, which I like. So, uh, again, my initial thoughts is that it's a good solo mode. So, again, um, Shayola, uh, obviously, you know, in my opinion, it's uh, more fun with more than just playing it solo. I enjoy it 1v1 quite a bit. Little Shogunstein is quite good at it. But if you are going to solo, I feel it is quite a good experience. And like the base game, they do a very good job in the rule book explaining how to uh, do it. So again, there are all different scenarios and setups that you can do in the solo mode. The solo mode is number 12, the Usurper. And what's really neat is with the level two cards, which are the better cards, there's so many different cards you can use. You can use the, some of the new cards that are um, part of the expansion. You can use the um, original cards. You can decide to add in the, you know, the sort of, uh, you know, bigger, you know, uh, better level two cards. And you can mix up different sets, different combinations. So there's going to be no shortage of replayability here with the solo mode. And same thing with the uh, the market here. Because it comes with the ones that are already here. But then you can switch up which additional ones you want in the, the market. So very happy so far with this solo mode. And again, these are the deluxe components that I was lucky enough to find at the seller's market used. If you get a retail copy, you're going to get pieces that probably aren't like this. But the game is so good, I don't think it's going to make a difference. It certainly looks prettier, but the bottom line is it's a great game. And if you can find the retail version and it's got the regular pieces, hey, the game is so good, you're not going to worry about that you have the regular pieces. So uh, very happy with the solo mode. Again, much rather play it with Little Shogunstein or someone at the friendly local game store or hopefully in a, about a month and a half when we uh, get to go to the Arizona Game Fair. But in the meantime, especially during this pandemical, if I got to kind of sit in the house and uh, you know play solo games, this is a very good solo game so far. And again, I feel it just captures the spirit of the... Um, regular game and this you know again between the the cards that uh, the uh, ai the usurper uses and you can flip this over to a more advanced setting 
and with all the different level two cards you can play here and all the different things you can put in the market there's a lot of replayability so you get a lot of game when you buy Shayola. so those are my initial thoughts on Shayola from bad comet games this is the shogunstein out